Tonight, NASA has a group of brave new astronauts who are ready to go to the moon and even beyond. And there's reason for South Florida to be, to be proud and excited. One of those astronauts is a hometown guy. CBS 4's Ty Russell spoke with him today. 11 Americans and two Canadians are now ready for historic missions to space. That includes Miami's own Frank Rubio, the Miami Sunset Senior High graduate, spoke to us over FaceTime. I helped support the NASA team and the NASA organization in um, pushing the envelope further for human space exploration, and that's a pretty unique privilege. Rubio, along with other astronauts, are a part of the first class to graduate NASA's two-year Artemis program. Rubio was one of 18,000 applicants selected. Their graduation ceremony was Friday at Johnson Space Center in Houston. In the year 2024, we are going to take not only the next man, but the first woman to the surface of the moon by direction of the President of the United States. They are now eligible for space flights to the International Space Station, the moon, and even Mars. The newbies are not the first in line, uh, and that's okay. You know, we're here to support uh, and do our part, uh, and someday we'll get our chance. Rubio is not sure if he will be on the first mission, but he says there are big plans for the future, like staying on the moon for a while. Going to the moon for a few days is just very different than going there for a few weeks or a few months and eventually possibly living there long term. Since South Florida has a large minority population, Rubio would like to see more teens involved in STEM, or science, technology, engineering, and math programs, to prepare for a possible career as an astronaut to increase diversity. I think we need those communities in, in space, and we need those communities in STEM. And so continue to work hard in math and science. Uh, push yourself. Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.